Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She is an accomplished actress who you affectionately know from the facts of life, living single, and so many movies that really make us just smile. And now she's getting us all ready for the Christmas spirit and getting us in the holiday with her new movie on Lifetime called You Light Up My Christmas. Let's take a look. And as he would string said lights around the tree, mm -hmm. he would begin to tell me the famous story of how his grandfather got sick as a little boy. Mm -hmm. And his dad, my great grandfather, Roy, Roy would dip light bulbs in, in red, red and, and green, green paint. paint. <laughs> and he would hang those light bulbs in the tree outside of his window to lift his spirits. Please welcome our sister, Kim Fields. You came out here just very festive, getting us ready for the holidays. Yeah, thank you. you look amazing. Thank I love you. that. You look so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I knew who I was going to be next to. <laughs> you got to bring the thunder thank when you, you in the circle, baby. <laughs> I know you. what to do. <laughs> well, first of all, welcome back to Atlanta. Thank you. Yes, we thank miss you, you here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I saw you guys lighting up the tree, and I've yes. already put my Christmas tree up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I put up my tree, I like to drink hot chocolate. Of course. And listen to holiday music. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have a limited edition of tea and coffee and yes, hot chocolate. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Yes, so you know one of the early times that I was yep. here, we had just launched Signature Blends by KF. Yep. Yes. And so the coffee Which is really tea. Good. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. So the coffee and tea, we've now added since then, uh, we've added hot cocoa and tea. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for the movie, we have uh, now created a limited edition collection called nice. The Kiss of Light because nice. of course you light up my Christmas. I love yeah. it. Yeah, and so we've got wonderful hot cocoa and tea and, mm. and coffee. And it's, it's so just, festive. Just yeah, on the holidays. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't know if you have it, but another good idea would be uh, like a mint cocoa. Ooh, Ooh we do mm -hmm. have it. It's called Snuggles in a Jar. Oh, I love oh, Snuggles in a Jar. Come on, I'll get you I some. I some Snuggles. I'll get you in some. In a jar. I know people. I know the KS. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. KS knowing yourself. I love that. So let's talk a little bit about your movie, You yes. Light Up My Christmas. Yes. Um, what made you do this movie and, 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 and also, I understand it's based on a true story. So how did that yeah, inspire so you? There's th well, thank you. There's el elements that are inspired by um, a true story in terms of the um, kind of the creation of Christmas lights, that concept. Uh, and so that's what you just heard in that clip there with myself and Mr. Adrian Holmes, who's mm -hmm. my leading man. Y'all, I was a and leading he's lady. He's handsome. Ooh. But let me tell you, he is such a solid actor. There he is, mm -hmm. award-winning Canadian actor who, mm -hmm. who brought the thunder. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thank you. And so being able to um, do a story that that um, incorporates light, mm -hmm. uh, incorporates um, the parallel of inner light, uh, and and the, the the magic that you can create with with that, and so that was really important. Yeah. Uh, and the true story component um, is like what they said in the clip, where this man in Colorado. His son got sick of, I don't know, maybe back in the 20s or so. And so he dipped light bulbs in red and green paint and strung them outside the boy's window mm -hmm. in a tree. And it was said to lift his spirits. And that was the story of Christmas, uh, Christmas lights. It's yeah. just sweet. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So the nice thing is that with Family Legacy, my character <coughs> in the movie uh, kind of borrows <coughs> that story. And so my family um, has a Christmas light factory mm -hmm. that's over oh, 100 nice. years old. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, speaking of family and legacy and yes. childhood, you're yes. a child Childhood friend Adrian. Let me get the name of Adrian Holmes. Adrian Holmes. Yes. So we play childhood friends in the movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him as a child, so okay. we, we just met for this. Okay. But we play childhood friends uh, in the movie, and he's my ex in the movie. But you do have real mm -hmm. childhood friends from the Facts of Life yes. that are in the movie yes, cast. I Talk do. to us about that. So it's so exciting um, oh, to wow. have uh, my Facts of Life sisters there. There's two out of the three who join us. Nancy McKeon is in the movie as well. Uh, she unfortunately had to deal with a family emergency mm. uh, when we were filming those scenes and so she couldn't come up to Vancouver to film with us. But she does make her appearance as awesome. well. Uh, awesome. And we're all together, and it was really great. As that was executive a good reunion, producer, right? It yes. was fun, you know, um, as executive producer of the movie as well, to be able to say to them, hey, guys, I'm doing this. Would love to have you do a special appearance. Yeah, what kind of characters would you yeah. like to play? You know, what are the names that you'd like? All that stuff. So yeah. it, was, it was just some fun um, Christmas whimsy that we could include. In addition, the ice skating rink that we have in the movie uh, is named for Charlotte Ray. 
Oh, oh, that's amazing. Right. You and your company just it. doing your thing. Well, I I'm know. So happy. Don't <laughs> sleep on <laughs> Kim, honey. Don't sleep on Kim. I'll tell you <laughs> I don't that. get any sleep. How about that? I'll tell you. So thank you so much for joining thank us and so coming so by. We love you to have her to here with us today. But you definitely want to watch You Light Up My Christmas on Lifetime this December, honey, at 8, uh, 8 p.m. December yes. 1st. December 1st. Yes. Right. How about that? And if you're staying with us for the full hour, Kim will be at the table next. And of course, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Can you all over here making all the money? Yes. yes, welcome back. We are here again with the amazing Kim Fields, and we could not let her go without joining all of us at the table. At the oh. table. Mm -hmm. I yes. got a seat at the table, y'all. Yes, yes. yes. oh, always, <laughs> always, always. <laughs> well, we just love when you come down to the circle. You're just like the <laughs> fifth you. sister. Yes. That's right. But That's right. Uh, but a mentor as well. Mm -hmm. You always bring such a wealth of knowledge here. And speaking of wealth of knowledge, you found your niche in making um, feel good movies, mm -hmm. which is awesome, that have actual content, mm -hmm. that is good content. Thank you. And, and on multiple networks. Do mm -hmm. you think though that the, the women in this business get put into a box and aren't allowed to show all of their talents and facets sure. in the industry still, we're yeah, still yeah. dealing with this? You know, I think that about people, I think mm. overall, you know, that we get um, put into a box um, and sometimes I think um, the media or fans or even the industry will do it mm -hmm. um, if you get um, typecast, you know, mm -hmm. and, you, and you start playing a certain type of character. And then it's like, well, no, and people will say, you know, well, someone said, that's my favorite character, or she'll always be such and such to me. Well, mm -hmm. that's kind of limiting. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Yeah. don't box folks in like that. Right. You know, there's so much, like this one I, we, at commercial, I was like, oh, we was acting. <laughs> <laughs> we was acting <laughs> recently, <laughs> yes, right. we got our act on. Yes. But, you know, I even with that, she was able to come outside of mm -hmm. what you guys may know yeah. and do other things. Mm -hmm. So I think okay. overall, but specifically, of course, since this is, you know, for the women, um, we have to make sure we keep showing that we are outside the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And do you think we that is advantageous for when we negotiate those contracts? You know, mm -hmm. we are always trying to, you know, have our seat at the table. Yeah. But then we always have to lean in to tell people, you know, how worthy we are. Have mm -hmm. we gotten to the point where we can stop leaning in and talent just speaks for itself? You, we should be, but mm -hmm. you know, overall I really feel like it's, um, that's that's almost like a never ending journey. Yeah. Um, where you always have to show your worth at a certain level. You always have to keep pushing the the business envelope and negotiations and right now we're about to, you know, we're finishing up closing a deal for a project that I start next year. And and you, you do have to, it's not just, hmm, it's not mm. just about having a seat at the table. Mm -hmm. It's having a voice when you get to the table. Yeah. I know, that's yeah. right. And so you have to make sure that you have a voice. And then what are you saying with your voice? Mm -hmm. Because when you actually get to the table, you have your voice, then when you open your mouth, is it going to be like, wah, 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 wah. People yes. are going to be like, oh, yes. wait, exactly. no. Mm -hmm. Or are you really going to have something prolific or, pro uh, or a profound mm -hmm. right. or important to say yeah. um, for yourself, for your well-being, for the people around mm -hmm. you, that sort of and thing. And those that you have to leave the door open for. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You got to bring somebody. But with that being said, what do you think about Monique right now and her lawsuit? Everybody's got their own journey, and especially, you know, in the business world. And so, you know, if you have to find different ways to make that voice heard, <coughs> then that's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. And if that's for her and her team, what she's got to do to, you know, make it happen, then then so, so be it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit more about your Lifetime movie, You Light yes. Up My Christmas. Yay. So out of that, here comes another project that's born <laughs> out of it. It is called <laughs> Designing Emma, where yes. it's everything behind the beauty of, of Emma. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So excited about that. So um, my team worked really, really hard um, with me to create, as well as the artisans in Canada where we shot the film, um, to really create this wonderful character and set of characters for the movie. Uh, and so uh, behind the scenes, uh, designing Emma, we talk about how we came with the hair idea for the unit that was created, mm. the makeup design, um, the palette, the clothing and just that entire process mm -hmm. and we do a really thorough beauty breakdown uh, with the Christmas looks and, and things like that just because it's not just about the character and what's said but mm -hmm. you know you can do things with hair and makeup and wardrobe to also tell your story and yes. you know for those of you who are watching um, if you're a storyteller and pretty much everybody has a story in them but there's ways that you're a storyteller and you don't even realize it yeah. you know as, as a hair person as a 
a costumer, mm -hmm. as a writer, as a makeup artist, and things like that. Yeah. So it's a wonderful piece that Lifetime, and I have to give a shout out to Lifetime when I talk about having a seat at the table as executive producer of this yeah. film. Mm -hmm. I had a strong voice yes. that was heard and respected yes. Yes. Lifetime. by Lifetime with this movie. So. You know, Lifetime love to win. Right. Because we, every Sunday, yeah. you know, they give it to us <laughs> yeah. like we do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You will tune into Lifetime yeah. and be stuck. Oh, yeah. 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 The entire week has passed. Yeah. And you know, even our director, Rhonda Baraka, and oh, I think Rhonda. she's watching. Right, hey, right. Rhonda. So Rhonda directed the film, um, and she directed. A, now, before I even got to work with her, Quincy, our five year old, he got to work with her last year on Pride and Prejudice for uh -huh. Lifetime. Yes. They directed that. Yes. yes. Well, speaking of your babies. You better go with the yes. segue. Yes. 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 <laughs> So do, do you and your family have your own traditions? What, what do you and the boys generally do for the holidays? So um, Chris and I and, and our two kids, Sebastian and um, Quincy, first we try to wait until after Quincy's birthday, which is December 3rd. Oh, oh my God! God. Same as oh. mine! Oh. Because my daughter's birthday is on the third as well. <laughs> so we try not to do anything for Christmas oh until goodness. after yes, December third. Yep, me too. Mm -hmm. But yep. then we do the tree. Yeah. We do the lights. The boys and I usually decorate the tree, and then Chris will put the star on oh, top. So nice. um, we always are listening to Christmas music and things yes. like that. But this year, to be able to launch the holiday season with the movie December first. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. beautiful. Awesome. When you look at your life, and as we close out, <laughs> do you ever sit back and say, "Wow, God, you have continued mm -hmm. to allow me to flourish." Girl. Girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have me laid out on this table <laughs> in, in straight worship. You're not going to do that. We intercede. Yes. 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 What, is it, yes. what are those, those moments like? Those moments are overwhelming. Those mm -hmm. moments are such a deep-seated joy mm -hmm. that you almost, if you're on the outside looking in, it almost seems like I don't have joy because it's so internal mm -hmm. um, that it's, it's, it's just, tough. it's surreal. Yeah. And it is so overwhelming yes. that that blessing. And I'm, I mean, it's 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 very internal yes. because it's you look back over everything. That unspeakable like say, joy. Come, come on now, now. Come, come on now. now. Mm. Come on now. Come when on I now. think of the goodness of Jesus and all and He's done for me, watch my soul. Oh, 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 and so oh, sometimes you got to just oh. you know hold that hold that up. It's like fire. Shut up in my bones.